So it would seem that Goodwill is having a bunch of Halloween stuff. They've got decorations out. I found some really cool VHS tapes that we're going to go through when we get back to the house. I don't know if the other Goodwills in the area are doing it. I don't know if Goodwill around you guys is, you know, going all out like they are with the Halloween stuff. A lot of decorations inside. A lot of people. That's why I didn't really want to pull my phone out and start recording or anything. Just because there were a ton of people out. I didn't want to run into anybody. Lots of kids running around. But we're going back to the house and go through these VHS tapes. So here we go. Uh, first of all, yes, I'm wearing a different shirt than I was wearing in the car. I had to change because that was my undershirt from work. It felt disgusting. So yes, I bathed and I changed. If I go the long way home from work or longer way home from work, I actually go right by a fairly decent Goodwill on my way home. And so I like to stop in there from time to time, see what tapes they have and was not disappointed this time because they have, I mean, they had all sorts of decorations out. The lady that greeted me was in a full on Halloween costume. They're going all out at Goodwill. Everybody seems to be going out really hard actually this year for Halloween, which I am 100% okay with. With all that said, let's move on to the tapes that I got. I got some really good ones, uh, all classics, obviously, because they're on VHS. Some more classic than others, some kids movies, some horror movies. We're gonna jump into all of it. So let's check this out. I don't have these really piled up any particular way. So we're just gonna start at the top and work our way to the bottom. The 2000 Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. This was actually a really good remake if you've never seen this before. I'm going to go back and watch it because I have not seen this in years and it's the Halloween season. It's the perfect time to watch this. Not for the kids to be sure. Let's make sure I was right on the year though. Um, bop, 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 bop. Anyway. Let's see if it says it on here. No, I'm pretty sure it was like 2000. It was early 2000s for sure. But anyway, yeah, looking forward to watching that. Next, we have one that I've seen in many a budget Blu-ray bin, The Last Starfighter. This one I've never seen. I love bad, cheesy sci-fi movies. This is actually the original release, and this thing's actually in really really good condition considering it's the original. So that's pretty cool. Moving along, we have a sequel to one that I already own on VHS, Final Destination 2. I think I saw this maybe one time and it was a very long time ago. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Sequels don't generally hold up, but you know, who knows? Final Destination 1 was really fun and I'm sure this one's probably a lot of fun too, but again, I don't really remember. If anybody remembers if this is good or not or uh, has any fond memories of it, you should let me know down in the comments. The next one, I do not remember being good. I remember it being fun. I remember it being gory. House of the Dead. Again, I don't really remember much about this except my feeling on it, which I don't remember being positive. I love the House of the Dead games. Those are always a lot of fun. Those are always really fun arcade shooters. I think they've still got in some arcades. Those are a lot of fun. Definitely gonna get into that one soon. Next we have this. This is the crowning jewel to me of this whole haul just because I love Vincent Price. I found a Vincent Price movie on VHS. I do not own a Vincent Price movie on VHS. I got House of Wax. This is 99 cents. These other ones, some of these were like $1.99 because it's Halloween. I also think the VHS craze is getting a little more popular. Not super popular or anything, but I think it's getting a little bit more popular. I saw there were some releases of old horror movies in Blu-ray, but they looked like they were like VHS covers and tapes. If you see those, go check those out. I need to actually go up to Walmart and look for those because those would be cool to add to the collection. Last, we have a few kids movies. I did find Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and it looks like there's like a headless horseman in here. So that looks like that'll be a lot of fun to watch. And the next ones will be additions to my Disney collection. The Sword in the Stone in what I am almost positive. Yep, there it is. Black Diamond. I believe I have Sword in the Stone in the Masterpiece Collection, not on Black Diamond. Either way, I know I don't have this cover, so that was a really cool find. This was $1.99, but it's a Disney movie. People charge a little bit more for Disney movies just because they think there's a huge market for it, and there really isn't. I'm sure you've seen the Black Diamond stuff on eBay. 
that's nonsense. Nobody's selling this stuff for thousands and thousands of dollars. Got my Miyazaki tapes that are worth like 50 bucks a piece, but I mean, unless it's something like Song of the South or something like that, you're not really gonna find these tapes that are worth like a ton, which is why I like VHS collecting so much because it's almost like collecting for the sake of collecting because of the medium itself, not because you're going to invest in anything down the road. I digress. Next one, and the last one out of this haul is Robin Hood. And this is another, yeah, Black Diamond. I don't actually own Robin Hood at all. And this is a new addition to my Black Diamond. It's either the Black Diamond or the Masterpiece Collection. I think it's the Masterpiece Collection. I'm almost finished collecting, but this will be a good addition to the Black Diamond collection. This was a really, really good haul though. I got to add something to my Disney collection. I got some really cool horror movies for the Halloween season, and I got some really cool stuff overall just to have as a cool collector's item and go back and watch time and time again, which is what I love about VHS. I can go back, I can appreciate, you know, how they were shooting it at the time. I can appreciate how they made them. I can appreciate the, the film grain. And I just, oh, I just love it. If you guys are enjoying these videos, videos, go ahead and throw me a like. If you're really enjoying them, go ahead and throw me a subscription and I'll see you guys next time.